Hello there, we meet again. Um, today we are looking at 2.3 from the November 2022 paper. Right, so we're first going to look at the map. It says in this um, statement, below is a simplified route map. Now, what is a route map? Maps have names, apparently. So we have a route map over there. And it says we have a route map of the Los Angeles Marathon in the United States of America. The LAM route is 20.2 miles, however long that is. Um, what is a route map? A route map is actually a map that shows the actual path that a person will travel to be traveled or a person will travel and it shows from start to finish the direction okay so this one here is called a route map because it shows us exactly where the marathon starts and where it goes and where it ends showing us the exact route of the marathon now this particular map we are going to look for the things that we look for. I say, look for a scale, look for true north, look for keys, and then read the details. So let's start scale, not drawn to scale. Okay, map not to scale. So we're not going to find a scale here because this is not drawn to scale. Um, so we would say maybe it's drawn by free hand, but there are no measurements to assist us. Okay. So the north, we find that the true north is pointing straight upwards. So north is there, up. And the key, we do not have any keys here. So no scale, no keys. Um, but we do have the north, right? And then we have the starting point going, um, and then the line breaks, and it breaks again. And then it breaks again, going all the way, six, third, six. And then it breaks again, and then the finish line, all right? That is Haba 110 and Figora 10. I guess I suppose that was the names of the road. This one is Venice and that is Flower Street over there. Let's try and see the questions. Okay, use the information above to answer the questions that follow. Explain the meaning of the root map. So in this context, what is a root map? A root map, this particular root map is a map that shows the direction the path that the people um, running the marathon will take from start to finish. So that would be the answer. And if we use this in thing, but otherwise a route map is a, is a map that shows the path. Now we have to be in context here. This is a path. It shows the actual path that the marathon runners will uh, take from start to finish and then it says ex describe what is meant by map not to scale we've said it also that we don't have a map on this um, on this um map on this we don't have a scale on this map we know this how we know that this does not have a map because it says map not to, not to scale so they did not draw this um uh, drawing uh, using measurements and therefore you cannot colorate it with the measurements from real life to what to the drawing this it's not drawn to scale this particular map is not drawn to scale you cannot use a ruler you cannot use all of that to put it to real life right okay so 2.3.3 says the runners in Los Angeles ma uh, marathon have to pass underneath a bridge at certain points during the marathon. Explain how this is indicated on the route map. So basically they want to know if you're passing under a bridge, how do you know? How do you know by looking at the map that you're going to pass under a bridge? Very clearly, it's it shows there an R or the, the line that's drawn to show you the path when it gets to the bridge you are because you are looking from the top view you see the bridge but you don't see the line which means you're not going to walk on top of this road you're going to walk underneath it so we are not if you were running there we're not going to see you when you're under the bridge because we're looking from the top so i can see from there that's what you would explain that uh, the line drawn showing the path breaks where there's a bridge and you cannot see the line which means the person will go underneath and then once they get to the other side the line starts again 
right? Because we're looking from the top view, we see the bridge and not the person running underneath, right? Okay, so write down the number of times that a runner who completes the marathon will pass under the bridge, underneath the bridge. So let's go find out how many times. So if you start there, it's one, two, three. Now be very careful that is not a bridge, that is a crossroad. Um, four. So you are going to pass them under the bridge four times. Now, ah, uh, it's a give and take on this one, uh, because the arrow is pointing uh, exactly on the bridge, which is confusing. And then you have this arrow pointing before the bridge. So the answer is four or five, you know, it depending on here, where exactly are they starting? So we're going to go with four because it seems like this arrow is pointing that they start there. These arrows are, come, are continuous and then they say maybe the starting point is there. It's confusing. Okay. They shouldn't do things like that. Write down the general direction in which the runners will face when they start in Flower Street. Okay. First of all, let's find Flower Street there in Flower Street. So they're starting at Flower Street and they're facing this direction, right? So that is... They're facing downward and downward is south because upward is north, but they're not facing directly south, right? They're facing south, but they're also facing a bit to the left and that would be southwest. And we are done with our map. Goodbye.